Breaking from overnight, firefighters battle flames at a house fire in Lehigh Acres. We want to show you a new video from the scene. It happened on 54th Street Southwest. That is just north of State Road 82 near Alabama Road. The call came in around 1030 last night. Neighbors tell us no one has lived in this home, though, for three years. Investigators believe it's suspicious because there wasn't electricity running to the house. The fire marshal will investigate later today. ABC 7 on top of developing news this morning from a neighborhood in Lee County where deputies are investigating a murder. Officers found a man who was shot to death in a truck. It was near the intersection of Dewara May Drive and Hagee Drive in the Harlem Heights community. This call came in just after 8 Tuesday night. The truck was found in the front yard of a home and the victim had several gunshot wounds. Police say it's too early to tell if drugs were involved. Happening today, 10 of 12 men charged in a boat smuggling ring will be arraigned in federal court. 22 agencies formed a special task force after hearing several citizen complaints about boat thefts in our area. The investigators say 12 men transported those stolen boats from five area counties to Mexico. Right now they are charged with transporting those stolen boats, but prosecutors don't rule out adding human smuggling charges if they can find evidence to prove it. We are breaking news from Afghanistan this morning where a NATO service member has been killed in an insurgent attack. NATO says it happened sometime Tuesday in southern Afghanistan. No other details are being released right now. We're just getting the, this off the wires this morning. NATO generally does not announce the nationalities of troops killed until after family members have been contacted. Developing in Europe, a terror plot uncovered in Britain and France, and this morning security is being increased at that monument, the Eiffel Tower, after a bomb threat was called into that area on Tuesday. British officials say it's all part of a larger terror plot they uncovered a couple of weeks ago. No other details of the plot have been released, but officials say it was in the early stages. This morning, President Obama continues his fourth state trip across America as he is campaigning for Democratic candidates in tight races. He is holding backyard discussions in Des Moines, Iowa and Richmond, Virginia today. Tuesday, he made stops in Albuquerque and Madison, Wisconsin, where he urged college students to stick with him and vote in November. The president promised change will come, but quote, you've got to stick with me. We cannot sit this one out. We can't let this country fall backwards because the rest of us didn't care enough to fight. A new Wall Street Journal poll out this morning says the percentage who blame Obama for America's economic woes has almost doubled since January. The poll also said Bill Clinton, the former president, is the most popular Democrat right now. We are now one step closer to NASA's final shuttle flight. Tuesday, crews, crews moved the space, shuttle, the space Shuttle Endeavor's external fuel tank to the Vehicle Assembly Building at the Kennedy Space Center. This tank, along with two solid rocket boosters, will be attached to Endeavor. The final mission to the International Space Station scheduled to lift off in February. Your time on this Wednesday, now six minutes after six o'clock. I'm Chad Oliver with the big stories of the day. The most experienced morning meteorologist in Southwest Florida. We've got him on our team here at ABC 7. John Patrick standing by with a forecast for today. You know, we can go ahead and take that shot. It, it, there's a reporter standing in front of it. We're using the global resources of ABC News this morning. They are providing live shots from Lake Worth, Florida, where they are already seeing some effects from this tropical depression number 16. That is a live report again from Lake Worth. We're back in two minutes.